Hey there everybody, this is Iron. I'm back with more Vintage Story. I have so much that I want to try to get done in this video, and I was just preparing, I was just uh, uh, getting ready to start the video. I wanted to get things set up in advance, because I have a lot I want to try to get done in one episode. And one of the things that I wanted to do is clear out this ruin over here and set this up as a, a cooking area. Make a little kitchen over here. And uh, lo and behold, I start clearing it out. This thing's got a basement, my friends. So I was like, oh, I better start recording now. Because look at this. We've got, we've got, oh, they're just forage vessels. It's not too exciting. But we got a whole bunch of free stuff down here. So that is a good, a good thing to keep in mind, my friends, is uh, you always want to, you always want to clear out the ruins. Yeah. Because you never know when there might be more to them than meets the eye. Alright, I am going to get back to work here and uh, finish preparing for the episode and then we will start it properly. See you folks soon. And there it is, my friends. I have taken this battered old ruin. Oh, some nice music. Thank you. Uh, I've taken this battered old ruin and I have refurbished it into a nice little house. Making a uh, thatch, by the way, these hay bales takes ages. You gotta run around and you gotta use a scythe to gather lots and lots of grass. Come in here. It's a bit dark, actually. We can drop a torch, one more torch somewhere. Brighten it up a little bit. Um, so here's the interior. We've got a little window at the top. I thought that looked nice. Stack of firewood here, conveniently located. We've got some chests which are, as of yet, empty. Uh, there's not a lot of space in here. It's a teeny tiny little house. I extended it a little bit in this direction to make a fireplace with a chimney, so we'll put some cooking fires in here. I am going to put the grindstone right there. These probably won't get used that much. I might even move them out. First I was like, oh no, we need to store all the food, but actually we're not going to store the food up here, are we? Because we're going to go. I have redone the basement, a little extra firewood. Uh, and I have made a cellar in here. And uh, I think these are pretty much empty right now. Yeah, but uh, this is going to be uh, another cellar. I showed you the other one I made, but that one's just kind of thrown together. This is going to be a proper cellar. I'm going to make some shelves and we'll keep all of the food down here where it will stay fresh for as long as possible. So uh, that's the little that's the little shack for now. This is, by the way, this is the slate cobblestone. It's actually a really nice color. I think it looks much nicer than the raw stone. I didn't expect it to be so pretty. I'm going to have to make some more use of that. Um, so first on the list for today, big long to-do list for today. First on the list is mortar. I want to build out of bricks and I am eventually, I know I keep, I keep settling further and further in here, but I do want to move over to that beautiful area over on those plateaus. Uh, but I want to build it with bricks. And here's an interesting thing that has changed my friends between uh, previous version and this one. You can no longer make bricks with clay. You now need mortar to make bricks. And of course you have to uh, quarry out some stone and chisel it. It's a whole long process to make mortar. You need to combine slaked lime and sand of any type. And to make slaked lime, you need water and quick lime. And to make quick lime, you have to cook lime. And to make lime, you have to smash either chalk or limestone. I have managed to find a big old area of limestone. I did, I, it wasn't conveniently uh, located. It wasn't close by. If we zoom out here, um, I did find, yeah, I found some other stuff over here. Uh, here's the limestone. Just for point of reference, this is where the halite was. So it's even further away than that. I went to get some limestone. I also, on some other more travels, I found some chalk and halite way down here. And that was exciting because I like chalk. So I actually quarried out a whole bunch of chalk. I think I put it here. Put it around here somewhere. Yeah, here we go. Uh, we got chalk rock, which is going to make some nice white bricks. And I also got a whole bunch of basalt rock um, on the... On, I don't think it's going to show on the map, but there's a, like a great big basalt uh, desert right here. And there's also obsidian in there. Unfortunately, you can't, make, you can't build with obsidian either. Uh, in all seriousness, anyone watching this who knows how to mod the game, anyone who is willing to make me uh, so a, a mod that adds bricks of this redstone. What was this redstone called? I don't, I don't... Is it gonna show up in here? Oh my goodness, what have I done? What have I done? Uh, wait, ah! Oh no, I clicked something. Ah! <laughs> Disaster! Rock, maybe? If I just, if I just, rock? No, stone. Stone is the word. I just need to scroll to the right spot. There's just too many. Here we go. Uh, I think it's bauxite. Yeah, bauxite was the bright red one. Somebody wants to make me a way to add some bauxite bricks and bo bauxite uh, cobblestone to this game. I will, I don't know, I will do something nice for you. If you're not a patron, tell you what, somebody who makes a working mod for this version of the game, this is the latest version of the game, uh, 1 point, 10 point something, um, to add these bricks. They don't have to be, they don't have to be, you know, um, uh, anything special, just add them in and, and have a recipe. can be copied from the recipe for all the other bricks and cobblestone. For those and for 
the obsidian. Um, I'll, if you're not a patron, I'll give you patron privileges for like a month. Seriously, and if you are a patron, I'll give you some of the kind of, we'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. Anyone who's up for it, I'm serious. I will, because I tried to figure it out and it was more confusing than I expected it to be. Uh, but in any case, uh, I did find the limestone. I think that one's in here. Limestone stone. And we need a hammer. Hammer. That will be over here, won't it? It'll be over here with the smelting smithing stuff, which we are going to get to as well today. Let's smash up a whole stack of it. Okay, so now I think we have to cook this. Bake into quick lime. I don't know how long it's going to take. 825 degrees, so we're going to need charcoal. Um, let's see, let's stick it right. Where did I stick it? This is the problem with too many campfires. Now, I have modded this charcoal to last for longer, so we'll, we'll stick in eight pieces and see how long that takes. Meanwhile, I gotta take a bucket, and I have actually installed a few mods, folks. Uh, not mods that I've created, but mods that other, other people created. One of them is as simple, it just adds these nice uh, icons for some of the items that don't have 3D forms. So now this has 3D form. So we can... Uh, stick that back in there. That just looks nicer. Um, one of them is the ability to make salt in barrels from water. And uh, I don't need that now because I do have stacks and stacks and stacks of halite at last. Uh, but the other one, and probably the most important one, is... Uh, oh goodness, what's it called? Hold on. Carry capacity. That's it. Carry capacity. I was going to say carry on, but that's a Minecraft one. Carry capacity is awesome. It does work with this latest version. It doesn't work on everything. However, many containers now, if you have two empty hands, so I can't be holding my torch, and you shift and hold right click, I can now pick up barrels and carry them around, as well as chests and a whole bunch of other stuff. Game changer, my friends. Game changer. You can also... No, not with this one. Okay, with some items, you can also uh, put it on your back and carry it around that way. That's going to help a lot when we're finally ready to move to that other area over there. So I can take this, I can throw it on the ground, and then I can pick it back up. I can fill up this barrel of water. It's full. Okay. And now I can pick it up and carry it back inside. It does slow you down a bit, I think. But isn't that nice? That's such a nice little quality of life thing. Okay, so what I need to do with this is, uh, yeah, I need to put this, I need to put this stuff in there. And it takes ages. It takes two of this to make one of this. This is going to take forever. Now, how much water is in here? We've got 50 liters. That means I'm going to need... Uh, oh, you see this right here? We'll turn into 10 salt after 10 days of sealing. Very useful. You don't get a lot of salt out of it, and it takes a long time, but if you're really having trouble finding Halite, I really recommend this mod. Check out on the Vintage Story um, forums. Go to vintagestory.at and go to the forums and go to the mods section, and it's 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 uh, pretty close to the top there. Uh, but yeah, if you're having trouble finding salt, that's a really useful thing to have. I wish I'd have had that before. It would have been easier than this. While this is cooking up, I will show you, um, I did fig figure out finally how to pickle stuff. It takes ages. And I have to say, I think it shouldn't take this long. And I'm tempted to go in and change it. I make pickles. I pickle stuff all the time. I make, uh, I make sauerkraut. I make homemade sauerkraut all the time. It does not take 20 days. It just doesn't. The absolute maximum that it might take is 14 days. And that's if you want it real strong. You can, you can make a pickled vegetable, like a properly pickled preserved vegetable in a week. Easily. Easily. And if you're using vinegar, you can go even longer than that. But even just with brine and vegetables, a week at most. So I very well may go in and change the raws. It's the same with the meat. You have to seal meat for 20 days with salt in order to preserve it. That's just silly. Sometimes, sometimes, I'm gonna be honest with you folks, sometimes I don't really understand the mindset of the developers of this of this, uh, this game, because sometimes they'll make something more difficult, and they'll say, it's because realism. Realistically, it shouldn't be that easy. And I'm like, all right, well, if I wanted to do it realistically, I'd go outside and do it myself. If you want to make realism, all right, fine, make realism, cool. But then sometimes they make something totally unrealistic to make the game more difficult. And they say, well, for gameplay balance, though. I'm like, all right, well, look, just admit, folks, just admit that you want this game to be grindy, and, um, and and you want everything to take forever, and you want everything to be difficult. Don't don't try to bring realism into the mix. If that's the game you want to make, then make that game by all means. But don't 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 cry realism sometimes, and then cry game balance other times. You know, just 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 be honest. Be honest with us. Fortunately, as I said before, they do make it very easy to tweak this stuff. So I probably will go in and tweak some of this stuff on my own later. Uh, the trick, by the way, to pickling stuff, and it is, by the way, I should have looked. I should have looked deeper 
it is in here. Brine portion uh, is an ingredient for all these. These are all the things that you can pickle. And if you just click this, it tells you, you just need a one to one ratio of brine to the vegetables. So good to know. And I might even try to mod in more vegetables, although they would need uh, sprites, wouldn't they? Um, so I've got all this stuff in here. Ooh, the salt has a nice image now too. And so do the grains, very pretty. Uh, I went around and I got some berries. Now, even in the cellar, they only stay fresh for like five days, six days. So we need to use these up quick. But this is because uh, basically in the comments for the last for the last episode, uh, folks said they were just kind of looking for just a little bit of everything. And that sounds fine to me. Oh my goodness, this is going to take forever. All right, well, while that's going, we can do other stuff. So one of the other things that I want to do is I need to make some iron tools. I have gone through more tin bronze shovels than I care to admit, and uh, tin bronze picks and all kinds of stuff. It's time to make some iron tools. Now, they're not going to last forever, of course, but they will last a good deal longer than what we got now. So I have already pre-smelted some iron in a bloomery. So to get that out, we just bust it up here. And we get some of our bricks back, and we get five iron ingots. Now, I'm also going to start... I can remember where I put them. Where did I put the bricks? Are they in here? Not in there. Not in there. Here they are. Okay. Uh, so, to make the bloomery, I think I showed you this last time. You need to make a base, and then you need to make the top. There we go. We can stick those back in here. You set this down with a shift or right to click. Then, you gotta fill it full of charcoal. I'm gonna need more charcoal, actually. How much charcoal do I still have? Ooh, is this all the charcoal I have? All right, let's use, I think brown coal will work, some lignite. I mined this up before. I'm gonna have to make some more charcoal. Yeah, this will work. No, it doesn't work. Oh, 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 dang. Oh, dag. No, I might not have enough. Okay, then. Um, I'm gonna have to make more charcoal, because you need 20 pieces. You make 20 pieces of charcoal, and then also 20 pieces of uh, heat. 20... No, not 20 anymore. Okay, hold on. You gotta do math. Gotta do math. Keeping in mind, folks, that I have greatly increased the amount of nuggets you get from these things. So five times twenty, and we can put these. We can put these in here. So you see them go in. Shift right click. They go on in there. And this is gonna need uh, the charcoal as well. I'm gonna have to make some more charcoal. Then you hold the torch in your hand and you shift and hold right click until it catches on fire, and then that will smelt up. But for now, I have already pre-smelted a bit, thank goodness, because I'm, I'm not a dang charcoal. So we're going to shift right click in a couple pieces of charcoal. And we're going to shift right click in a couple iron ingots. And then, same deal, I need to make more torches as well. I need to make a lot of stuff. Shift and hold right click until it lights on fire. That is going to slowly speed up. Now check this out. Here's a fun thing to do. I can carry this now. Let's just carry it right out in the middle. Actually, somebody requested that I do this at night, and I forgot. So forgive me for this, folks, but just for the aesthetics, uh, probably the only time I have ever intentionally made at night, just for the aesthetics. This is this doesn't uh, give me any advantage. In fact, it gives me a disadvantage because now it's going to be uh, those drifters creeping around. Oh, I do have more charcoal here. Okay, so let's check this out. Temperature. Oh dear. <laughs> I think the temperature went up unrealistically because uh, of the time that passed. Whoops. In any case, uh, I want to make, first of all, I need to make a chisel so that I can make those bricks. So even though I probably don't need to make this out of iron, this is what we got, this is what we got ready. Do that. We'll pinch off these bits here. Uh, I always think people probably seen this so much they're probably tired of it. But actually, in truth, some of you probably haven't seen it. Maybe you haven't done it yet. And I, this is such a cool way of doing it. Um, if you ever played Terra Firma Craft, as I did, what else, what else? The shovel is the thing that for me breaks the most often. I'm always running out of shovel. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, if you played Terra Firma Craft, they tried to do sort of an immersive, um, uh, way of, of, of smithing, like this. But there we go. And we got our iron shovel head. This needs a handle. Uh, but the Terra Firma Craft one... It was really frustrating. Stick that on there. Oh, iron shovel. 900 durability as opposed to 450. That's double the durability, folks. Um, I think that's enough for now. Let's stick these down here. 
It's enough smithing. Uh, yeah, but the, the Terraformer Craft one was extremely, extremely uh, difficult. And it got frustrating pretty quickly. That is going to take forever. Um, and of course it's nighttime now. All right. What's next on the list? I also wanted to uh, do some cooking. That's right. Somebody has to do some cooking. Can I pick this up? I can't pick this up. All right, that's all right. We can just break this. I'm going to stuff in there. Get salt out of there. Let's move this. We need to set up our new kitchen. And move all the stuff over here. So that's going to go there. Um, I do need to make some campfires in here. We can throw salt in there. Let's go and take the stuff out of here. You know, I probably should have just used the carry capacity mod to bring that chest in here instead of building new chests. But it's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, so we'll put all the halite in there to make salt. And then in here we'll put our pots and our bowls. I've still got some smithing stuff in my inventory, haven't I? It's nice to have a door to close, by the way. I might start spending some more time in that little shack. Oh, you jerks. I have, I have tweaked them. They're really not very dangerous now. But still. But still. Maybe I should, maybe I should go sleep. Maybe I should go sleep. And you can watch how everything speeds up when you fall asleep. Isn't that nice? It does take longer to sleep now uh, than it did before. Because it is now calculating time passing. Which I don't think it did before. Before it made everything look like it was going faster. I don't think it actually changed anything. But now time actually passes. So some things will be done. Like if you have metal cooling. And then you go to sleep when you wake up. It'll be cooled. Things like that. Which I really appreciate. That was really helpful. Um, Alright. We need to move some of this stuff now. Into... Um, into the new kitchen, including this stuff, get the shelves, and I think I can carry one of these barrels, this pickling. I wish I had understood better how the pickling works and how long it takes before I started this, because now... Oh no, can I not open the door? I can't open the door. Should have left the door open. <laughs> uh, now there's a trap door as well. So, Alright, we got this. I think there's another door down here, too. Put that down. Open that door. <laughs> Immersion! Alright, stick that down there. Uh, we can put up our first shells. I'll just throw, toss that right there. So these are all empty now. I don't have any more meals prepared. I've just been munching on that... Uh, munching on that bush meat, which is not great. I'm gonna leave a door open this time. And uh, unfortunately, you cannot carry these clay storage vessels. So I'm gonna have to break this. Pick up all the stuff. Look how nice that looks. That's lovely. Take another barrel. <laughs> Get back over there. It's moving day. Uh, this is gonna make such a difference though when I'm moving to the new location. Oop, I didn't leave this one open. Okay, so there's a barrel there. Put down another croc. I've already, I made several more crocs as well. Got that. Oh, uh, by the way, potash. Here's an interesting thing. Oh, that. Yeah, that can go down here. Uh, potash is ground up that sylvite, that red stuff. That red stuff that I found um, when I was mining the halite, if you remember. Oh, there's one more barrel, isn't there? Uh, if you grind it up in this, you get this potash. And actually, I wanted to. I wanted to make a note. Excuse me. Can you just Ah. There we go. <laughs> Don't appreciate these guys. Um, oh, has it all finally grown now? Okay. I want. I want. I want to make a note here. And again, this game they keep trying to make everything take longer, and I might go in and tweak it on my own again so that I can have the playing experience that I prefer. Uh, cabbage. I have found some cabbage seeds while traveling. Has twelve growth stages. Okay, so it's supposed to take a while. Flax has nine. The flax only just grew. When I started recording this, most of the flax was still at stage 8. The cabbage had grown ages ago. So why? Why? I'm asking you why. <laughs> why did the flax take so much longer than the cabbage? I don't know. But what we can do with this uh, potash, if you look at the top, at the uh, the, the tooltip right there, moist farm... Oh, actually, it's not going to work on this one. This is for K. All right, so let me just gather up the cabbages. <gasps> did I just get a bonus seed? I think I might have. 
That's always good. I'm gonna grow some more cabbages. I'm gonna have to make some huge farm fields, by the way, because stuff grows so much slower now. But if I take this flax, harvest it up, I could go grab my scythe and, and harvest it that way faster, but eh. by the time I went and got it and got back, this is not a very big field. Take all this, and you look at the soil, and it is depleted, right? It says uh, nutrient level N50, P50, K15.6. That's because the uh, flax used up the K, the potassium. So growth speeds, N crop, P crop, K crop. K crop is going to grow only 30% speed. If I take this potash and right-click it on there, slow release nutrients, K 60%. So if this soil runs out of K while something's growing on it, it'll provide it with more, which is very handy indeed. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem to help with the growth speed, though. Growth speed is still going to be slow, so I'm going to leave this fallow for now. I am going to have to make some real big proper fields to grow all of our grains and stuff. How are we doing over here? Not, not the best. Not the best. It's fine. Well, let's hang up this chisel. The chisel will be used to make bricks. I don't know if we're going to be able to actually make the bricks today. Because it's taking so long to make the dang mortar. Um, Alright, I had one more barrel down here, I think. And I need to grab... Oh, that's right. I got this. Look at all this delicious stuff. Take this. I also need to grab stuff to make the cooking fires, which I forgot to do. I'll run back and grab that after I stick this downstairs. So, stick that right there. And put this crock right there. Now, we've got enough. We can put the vegetables in here. I've been harvesting mushrooms. Lots of vegetables. Put the onion there. We can put fruit in this one. And there we go. This is also a vegetable. Got more flax grain. Is that all the food? I think so. We can close this up for now. I'll go put the seeds away. Then we'll get the stuff to make the cooking fires, and then we can finally start cooking. Yay! We'll make some meals. So to make uh, meals, you're going to want to look at that wiki. Wiki is your friend. Because it's a little bit complicated. Um, I came over here... <laughs> Something in particular. Where did I put it? Where did I put the straw? There it is. Dry grass. So we need three pieces of dry grass. And we're gonna need one, two. That's enough for three fires. Uh, we won't put the logs down until we're ready to cook. But there's a whole bunch of different stuff you can make. Now I don't have um I don't have any meat on me, so I'm only going to be able to make vegetarian dishes, which is fine with me. Now, if I hit the C button, it'll open up my nutrients here. I'm doing pretty good, actually. Doing pretty well. Uh, protein is full up because I was eating a whole bunch of bush meat. Uh, bush meat can't be cooked into other stuff, so might as well just, just roast it up on a fire and eat it. I am a little bit low on grain. could use more fruit and vegetable. So what I'm going to make is a porridge. Now, to make a porridge, you need um, two grain. Uh, two grain, as in two two columns of grain side by side. You can only make six at most, by the way. Six at most uh, of any particular um, food in one in one crock. Um, and I'll throw some berries in there. Yeah. Saguaro fruit's not worth as much. Ooh, that's going to go bad soon, though. Maybe I'll just eat that. Or maybe I'll make a saguaro fruit jam. We can also make jam, my friends. Okay, we'll get to that in a moment. Let's use blueberries. And I could do another fruit here, or I could do more grain, or I could just put just this grain. Uh, but I'm gonna put some vegetable in there as well. Maybe just some mushrooms. Mushrooms have the lowest saturation, I think, which I disagree with, by the way. Onions have almost no nutrition in them. They're delicious. They have almost no nutrition. Mushrooms are very nutritious. They're extremely nutritious. And on top of that, it takes a lot of work to gather mushrooms in this game. You gotta walk around and find them and harvest them with a knife and then wait for them to grow back. Um, it may take longer to grow vegetables, but I would say both from a game balance and a realism perspective, it makes more sense for the mushrooms to be more nutritious. So I might go in and tweak that eventually as well. But in any case, we'll throw some mushrooms in there and that will be one meal. Another meal I'm gonna make is a um, vegetable stew. So for vegetable stew, you need at least two types of vegetable. And I think, let me let me take a peek at the wiki here. 
uh, two vegetables and up to two soybeans or mushrooms. So soybeans are good because soybeans are protein. You can't eat these raw anymore, by the way, which is good. I agree with that. You can't really eat raw soybeans too well, or at least not if they're dried out. They last for ages, though. So soybeans will be a good thing to grow every once in a while. Just do a big crop and then shove them in a crock like this. Uh, I can't put fruit or grain in this, which I also disagree with. Who makes a stew without putting any grain in it? I always put some oats or something in my stew. Uh, but in any case, uh, I can put in, I guess, more vegetables. I could put in some mushrooms. Then they won't be as, nu as nutritious as if I put in, say, a turnip. All right, so this is two different meals we've got here. Two meals worth of stuff. Let's go up and let's cook it. So I'm going to need uh, two of these. And I am going to have to start the fire. So I'm going to put this on here. And we're going to drop these in here just like this. And you see, six servings of rye porridge with mashed blueberries and bolit. Delicious. This will be the vegetable stew one. Stick that in there. I will probably have to add more firewood, by the way. So this is going to make a stew. And I can make one more. Uh, maybe another vegetable stew. Or actually, maybe another porridge. Maybe another porridge. That's quick and easy. Um, we can do blueberries and red currants. Delicious. Get that up there. I will also be making some jam, but I have not prepared for it just yet. I'm gonna have to go and get the... Oh, I need the... Yeah, there it is. I need this. Shove these in here. And cook those up. How are we doing on fuel? We're doing okay, but we are definitely gonna need some more. So let's throw another log on each of these. Uh, and maybe I can very quickly go over and grab some honey. I would also like to make some bread today. So I'm going to need to grind up some grain for that. I'm going to need a bucket. I'm going to need some water. Actually, I think I'm going to need a couple of buckets. There's a bucket of water. Uh, let's make another bucket real quick. Make a bucket. We just need this. And perfect. Oh, no, that's not perfect. I need more, don't I? I need more wood than that. Just cut that up. Racing to make a bucket. There we go. And I think I can use this. I've got some honey in here. Yes. Take that out of there. I don't know how much honey is in there. We'll see in a moment. I wasn't paying attention. I want to make sure that my food gets cooked up and doesn't run out of fuel. Oh, it's already cooked. We did not need the extra logs. Spectacular. Awesome. Look at this. Okay, so I'll just just take a close look at this, my friends. I'm gonna turn off the HUD. Um, first of all, the smoke coming off, going up there. I might actually change these to stairs so that the smoke doesn't come in here too much. But you can actually see the ingredients in there. You can see the ingredients. And if we... Food perish speed. No, 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 no. Food should not be perishing. Uh, as long as these are hot, they will not go bad. They will go bad eventually. And grab that one. Let's put the firewood back for now. So what I can do now... There we go. I can... Take a couple of these and put them in crocs. So I think I need to put them down first. Uh, I have to remember how to do this. Do I just do this? Oh, it did work. Oh, these only hold four servings. Okay, so we're not going to be able to... Um, we're not going to be able to put it all in there. Okay. This is good to know. I'm, learn I'm learning along with you, my friends. That's going to go in there. You can take... I don't like this. You can't pick up the one on the left until you've picked up the one on the right. Uh, let's take this one. Take the last two servings and put them up there. That means I have to eat these two. I can leave them down here, uh, and they will still last for longer than if I leave them upstairs. I can't see how long right now, because they're still hot. Uh, but what we can do is we can take a bowl. I'm already pretty hungry, folks. Let's take a bowl. 
Stick this back in here. And we can just scoop out. I need the porridge first. I got that. I'll go back upstairs. I could put a little table and chair in here. I don't got a lot of room. So we'll just enjoy the view while we eat our porridge. There we go. Wow, I ate... I filled up my entire saturation and there's still 0.2 servings left. That's pretty cool. Um, so that's how you make the meals. Again, look at the wiki because there's a few other recipes. There's a meat stew one and stuff like that. How much of this honey do we have? 0.75. That's not a lot, is it? That's not a lot of... If I take this and I put it in here. Can I just... There we go. So I need uh, two honey. There is enough. Okay, yes, there's plenty enough. Um, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna have to move that honey barrel in here, I think. Where am I gonna put it? Oh my goodness, maybe downstairs. Um, and two fruit. So I've only got enough to make one serving of honey now. But let's take, let's make some saguaro honey if we can. I'm gonna take the rest of the saguaro as well. Just eat, just to eat. It's gonna go bad. Even in the cellar, it's gonna go bad today. One serving of saguaro fruit jam. I say, let's make that. Let's make that serving. Let's make that jam. I'm gonna need that for making bread. Uh, let's get some grain. And I think a bucket will make... 10? I am not sure. How about rice bread? Let's make some rice bread. Why not? We'll find out if this is enough. So, to make bread, we could grind the grain. Hold the right mouse button. And it go, it go, it go. And oh, we have that nice texture for the bags of flour now from that mod. Very nice. Very thank, uh, big thank you, by the way, to the mod makers that I use today. I'll, I'll try to remember to stick some links to the mods themselves down there. Um, or you can find them, as I said, on the Vintage Story forums in the mods section. I'm not sure if it's 10 or if it's 8 that this can make. I'm, I'm used to thinking in terms, in, in 8s. I'm used to thinking in 8s, in multiples of 8. These games will do that to you. Powers of two. Nearly there now. We've got some nice music to grind to. This is rice grinding music. Okay. So. How are we doing? we got honey! Look at that! Oh, it's cool looking too! Or not honey, we got jam, I mean. We've got jam. Now, I'm not sure if jam goes bad. I am gonna put it downstairs. And I don't think we can do anything with the jam. I think... Actually, I think we can put the jam... Can we put the jam in porridge? Not sure. I'll have to check that later. Uh, but anyway, we've got a bucket of water. We've got ten flour. And it was enough to make ten rice dough. Perfect. I'm gonna stick the bucket of honey here for now. Enough, enough to make half a serving of jam now. Uh, and to make the bread, you just, you just stick it on the fire. It's pretty simple. I'm gonna put two on there, because this will take a little bit longer, I think. Doesn't need to get too hot. Um, but yeah, that's cooking. We did it, folks. We did it. Can we go and take a look at this mortar? Can we? I know we're probably over time at this point already. 25 quick line. That is half of what I need. So I'm gonna have to do that off camera, I suppose. Uh, then you take the chisel and use it in the inventory with uh, quarried stone. You quarry stone by making it so there's nothing attaching it to the wall, and then it will fall off. Uh, it takes forever. It took quite a lot of time. I got some more basalt in here as well. Um, I thought I did. Did I only get one stack of basalt? Oh, I guess I did. Goodness me, it took forever anyway. Um, but I'm just start, uh, starting to assemble some building materials. Eventually we'll move over to that really beautiful new spot. Yeah, there you go. So that'll stay fresh for five days, and I think we can stick it downstairs in one of the things. Will it stay will it stay fresh in here? If I stick in here, so nine days in here. Sixty-four days in here. So yeah. That'll stay fresh. So this is the kind of things these things you can do in big batches. And that's gonna need some more firewood. Stick that on there. But we're super out of time folks. We are more than out of time. We are beyond out of time. So that was a little of everything episode. I hope you folks enjoyed it. I uh, will continue to do some behind the scenes stuff between this episode and the next one. And you folks can let me know what you would like to see next. Um, but my kind of my goal, one of my goals for this series is to 
create a huge stock of, of food that will last ages and ages and ages, because I think that sounds fun, to make like a, a, a food bank <laughs> and just test out all the different stuff you can make. I also want to make some real big farms and stuff, but I think maybe the next step might be to move over there to that uh, beautiful plateau area that we found and start just building. Start just building, just gathering lots and lots of materials and start building, so uh, again, uh, plea for help if anyone wants to mod in some of those beautiful bricks for me. I will be in your debt, and I will repay my debt somehow. And in any case, whether you can mod it in or not, thank you so very much for watching. Let's... Uh, 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 thanks so very much for watching. Uh, and I'll see you next time. That's it. Bye! Yay! Oh, Jamie boy, you are my biggest patron. For all this time, you have supported me. Financially, you know I am so grateful. Oh, Jemmy boy, my patron, you're so dear to me.